Good evening, everyone. How is it going? Exitum, Hafaro, Fiery, and Origin, what is up? I hope everyone is having a fantastic weekend. How is everyone going? Good morning, Fiery. Good evening on our end. Hope you and Dante are having a fantastic start to your Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. I think that checks out. Excellent. Still going through and sorting out the time zone differences. Ogden, what is up? How are you going? And good day, good day to yourself, Faro. How are you? We are starting off this evening a bit of world versus world because one, we actually do need to do a fair bit of world versus world um, to go through and get our conflux eventually as well. And honestly, there are so many other benefits to us going through and doing world versus world. The wonderful gift of battle acquisition to fuel extra legendaries in terms of gold making. That would be pretty sweet. Shenanigans are going on there. We probably won't bother getting introduced to that because that might be a little bit tricky. I do also need, what we might actually do is if we go rep Fiery and Dante's guild here, go hit up the guild hall and actually get some World Best of World reward track gain here. And badge you can easily gear. Yeah, that's it as well. We've gone through and gotten like a few of them. Like we've got a couple hundred sitting there. So we actually have been able to go through and gear up our Revenant here and a few extra like gear changes to get it set up for World Best of World. Nog, what's up, mate? How are you going? So good to see you. Everyone go check out Nogdog on Twitch. A long time friend of the stream and impeccable Guild Wars 2 streamer. What's up, mate? Astro, how are you going as well? Let's go. I want a reward track boost here, actually. There we go. Goodbye. And we'll actually showcase what we are rocking today as well. Ah, I'm glad you're doing good, Astro. We are also doing quite good. Oh, just DM me on Discord about that, funnily enough. Ah, perfect. Timed that exceptionally well. And good to hear that things are um, going very well then. Oh, we just went through and just like, skim-read your message there. But glad to hear that, yeah. Your sleep schedule has improved. That's good work. Jess and I are still actually in the process of going through and fixing ours up as well. And you're glad to hear that work is going well. That is excellent. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's go through. So we'll showcase what we're actually rocking. Now, Exton, if you're here, you might actually enjoy this. I know you are looking to go through and eventually do some World Versus World because you're going to need Conflux eventually if you want to get full Legendary, mate. But what we are rocking, we went through and found a YouTube video yesterday. We're rocking Celestial Vindicator. So that's good. That is all what World Versus World Roaming Celestial is great. So we're currently rocking Traveler Runes. You could probably use Leadership if you want to make it a little bit better. But we are rocking Mace, Sword, purely for the Condi damage and the mobility that Sword gives us as well. We are rocking Superior Sigil of Cleansing and Energy, so we get Condition Removal on Legend Swap and Weapon Swap because you do have that wonderful interaction um, between your Legend and Weapon Swap and your On Swap Sigils. And we've got Energy as well. More Energy is good. And on Shortbow, we've got Vision and Battle. I have to go through and try and find the YouTube video that we're referencing. It was quite handy, actually. But we've got it so we get five stacks of Might whenever we swap. And we also have Superior Sigil of Vision. So for three seconds, all our attacks will critically hit. And then, yeah, just rocking like full Celestial and everything there. So basic on also what we got is Relic of Naos. Removing a condition from yourself heals you. Your yeah, traveler for movement speed is better for Vindy IMO. That speed has saved you so many times. Yeah, I really do um, enjoy traveler rune as well because yeah, the movement speed is great. And honestly, it's insanely cheap. Like, it's so good just to throw on stuff. Mega, what's up? How are you going? We are YY and indeed. But yes, we have a whole bunch of Condi removal here, and that pairs very well with the Relic of Naos, but we even doubled down on this even harder. And yeah, because we have loaded up so hard on on-swap sigils, we want to do the thing where we legend swap first and weapon swap, because then we basically get to double proc literally all of these sigils within like a very short span of time. So that is very handy. A lot of defensive utility here. So in terms of Vindicator, so let's see. We've got um, cleanse conditions and heal allies when you are struck below the threshold. Um, then we've got Agnes... Ag Ang Sian's Trust, I don't know how to actually pronounce it, but we just make it so our energy melt gives us extra energy. So then um, basically we can do more stuff in Malix, which is great because everything else here isn't really insanely good. And then we got Imperial Impact. So we give ourselves Might and Protection when we dodge. Boons are fantastic. A bit of chill as well is also very nice. In terms of Salvation, dodging removes conditions. This also is doubling down on the Naos Relic, which is very handy. Um, game barrier for each unique boon on you insanely good for basically just surviving which makes you basically unkillable 
increase healing to other allies and grant endurance when you remove a condition from an ally this gives you extra endurance as well doubles down on vindicator stuff you could potentially swap this around but yeah the extra endurance is super nice here um demonic resistance gain resistance and remove a damaging condition when you use a legendary demon skill resistance is great because we're going to make sure we get the extra damage reduction from our resistance as well and extra boons pairs very well with resilient spirit here your condition damage is increased incoming strike damage is reduced by 20 percent. this is on top of the protection that you already have um so yeah resistance is great now let's see what else uh, damaging conditions you apply last longer and here invoke torment transfers conditions from you onto foes so yeah whenever you invoke torment so whenever you swap legends you are going to transfer three condies from yourself onto foes now i believe this is actually in multiple foes in an aoe around you it cannot be blocked and it cannot be blinded so yeah this i've played a little bit of this last night and had a little bit of time free this is like insanely like resilient to condies it is really really fun and origin how do we join your guild i don't personally like run a guild myself i have my bank guild that has myself jess and my various accounts but that's basically like it's really just there for us to transfer stuff between our accounts willy-nilly and i basically i've just joined other guilds i don't actually like lead one myself i'm part of dante and fire's guild i'm a part of fireball annie's guild on na but yeah, that's basically where we are at. Orca, what's up, mate? How are you going? Thanks so much for popping in. Hope you had a wonderful day. And yeah, glad to hear that raid um, training on Friday went well as well. Might be stronger than your current renegade. Yeah, we'll have to go through and try it. We'll go through and showcase it a bit. Fish, what's up, mate? How are you going? So good to see you, my friend. Excellent. Let's go through. We'll keep an eye out for when like a commander pops up. Okay, we might want to go hit up this way over here. And hey, it's grand you woke up, have your coffee stream on great day. Excellent, love to hear that. We're busy grinding rifts at the moment. And how has that been going? How has the journey towards legendary open world armor been treating you? This build is so strong, even with Herald, is even stronger. Damn, we'll have to go through and try it with Herald at some point. Because yeah, I know you get a whole bunch of benefits on Herald. Can I find and share the vid? Yeah, I'll go through, I'll track it down later and I'll like send it through to you. But yeah, it is like insane now. If I'm mostly going to see if we can actually find someone here. Now, what are we starting in? Yep, the correct set. Always one armor piece done. We love it. Okay. Got a soul beast there, or druid there, actually. Let's try and deal with this. We should probably be keeping an eye on them as well. Okay, they've just um, waddled off, but that's all right. And then we swap to Jalus to trigger our on swap, like our Spirit Sigil Vision. Then we use like Spirit Crush, Seven Shot, and Bloodborne Pass, and they're all just instantly crit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's activate our Malik's port in. And we can blast some blindness as well. Because even on a celestial build, because you are guaranteed critting on seven shot and basically all your short bow skills for a little bit there, you actually do a significant amount of damage. Kind of grind everything before you make it or make the essence things too to save storage pace. Brilliant idea. Keep an eye on anything else. Boom, boom. And yeah, because we do have energy meld here so we can gain extra endurance, it means that we can actually get some more use out of our absolutely awesome Malik skills, actually. At the moment, we're still trying to um, deny the fact that you need to wall versus wall, but we don't know how long you keep doing that. I recommend... Um, excellent. Finding yourself a build that you will actually enjoy. Like, if obviously if you're a Revenant, enjoy. Revenant roaming builds are, like, insanely fun and durable to play. I recommend, yeah, just going through, finding one that you enjoy, and just trying to get into the game. Because, like, yeah, like, you don't need a huge amount of world versus world for Conflux, but, like, you're going to need some. Like, you're probably going to need a good couple of weeks in there, or a bit more if you just spread it out over time, which is probably what I'm going to be going through and doing generally. Oh, hello, that's a lot of peeps. Okay, let's maybe try and run. Ooh, that's a lot of peeps. 
That's all right. Oh, hello. I guess one might be a bit tricky. Let's head over here. Gonna have to try and kite a few peeps here. Okay, beautiful. Got a wheel bender here. Let's go get a heal off. Oof, that knockback was rough. Woo! Oof. <laughs> Did not expect to see so many people there. Exceptional. That's all right. Let's go hit up. Probably hit up this camp on the way back. Miss Badger, what's up? How are you going? Close fight. You almost have them. Yeah, I feel like if there wasn't at like five people, we might have been okay. Hey, Disco, what's up, mate? Thank you for popping in. And honestly, what I should probably do, because I do need to do a lot of World vs. World. I've been thinking of doing such a thing for a little bit. But to sort of force my hand... I'm thinking we do this. I'm thinking we set our dailies and our weeklies to world versus world because I need to do world versus world for Conflux and what's stopping me from doing is the fact I don't actually need to jump in there. But if I do, we might actually sort of force our hand here. But I've been going very, very well, Miss Badger. How about yourself? But I've been thinking of this for a while because yeah, I do need to spend some time here. And what's stopping me is the fact I don't need to. So let's just make it so I need to. The weeklies can be rough um, if you don't have a group. Yeah, we'll keep an eye and see if like a commander pops up because I know we usually play. Oh, that's a lot of peeps. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> I'm, I'm not particularly hopeful here. Let's see. Oh, we got some people coming along. That's all right. Come, come over here. I suspect this is going to go very poorly, but that is okay. We are here for it. Oh, good. We got friends. And there's one down. Excellent. We love it. They bit off a little bit more than they could chew. So even though this is Celestial, it is still decently bursty as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, hang on. They, Mad Lad's running in. Not a single care in the world. Okay, let's go through and just start, like, spamming a whole bunch of dodges. I want to actually get my Malix up now. Beautiful. There we go. I want to get more Malix skills. I want to group everyone up. Yes. I want to try and not die here. That's a whole bunch of Condies. Beautiful. Let's go start just critting everything now. Oh, that's a lot of reflex. Okay, I need to actually target. So I'm going to target down this firebrand here, actually. I'm going to go Malik's Leap on everyone. Let's go lay down a whole bunch of Condies here. Lots of Condi pressure. I'm probably going to want to start popping just a stability road here. Oh, we can deal with the Virtuoso fairly well. Let's go get an Immobilize off. There we go. And big old Stun Break. Lots of resistance. There's the Firebrand. Let's just focus on that one. There we go. Firebrand is now down. Beautiful, that seemed to go fairly well, all things considered. Now we'll deal with this one. Excellent, off to the camp. Oh, stay down. Not a problem. That's the kind of gameplay you should be in messages. Keep it up. Ah, we are here for it. I think we're actually appearing as offline, so let's go through. Appear online so we actually can get those juicy whispers. I love it. But yeah, the sheer amount of sustain that you have on this build is insane. You actually do have a good amount of Condi Burst as well. So I quite enjoy it. 
Wait, we'll have to go through and try it with Herald as well, because obviously Herald at the moment is just insanely busted in all aspects. Nice, and that is another rank as well. I will claim that for free. Fiery and Dante, we got this. Uh, also, Fiery, um, I would actually not mind a look for this character. This character is actually the one that I first created when I made this account, and no thought whatsoever was... Um, no thought whatsoever was made when I made it. It's basically just the default character there. So, yeah, if you are there and keen on providing a look for this character, we've got a human female character, that would be pretty sweet. Yeah, human. Yeah, human female here. It's literally just the default one. So, obviously, we put no consideration into this. Ah, damn, you dropped a Dawn Exorcism. Hell yeah, mate. Your luck is absolutely phenomenal. Have you also, like, dropped an infusion as well? You've, like, already eclipsed my drops that I've had across various accounts. That's right, there is like no rush on that. Like, just if you've got some time, I would not mind when I would appreciate I hit one. Yeah, Dan, that is brilliant. Dawn's an absolute banger of a legendary. That is fantastic. But that was pretty good. Someone fucked around and they found out. Might use a hair kit, total makeover, or just armor looks. Um, all of the above. I think I've got a, ma a total makeover kit, like chilling, that I've got from Twitch drops a couple months ago. So yeah, hundred percent. I am totally fine with any. I don't get each other this week. Rip, Miss Badger. That's unfortunate. And how long have we got? We've got a minute until we can deal with this. And yeah, we're even just rocking an outfit at the moment because our armor was not really, wasn't landing. Oh, we got another one of these. Maybe next week we can hunt Josh. That is true, yeah. I am very much open to be hunted. Oh, let's go eat some more food. We haven't really put too much consideration into our food either. Could refine this a bit. Mostly because I had... Oh, hello. Hello, soul beast. Hmm. I wish I had Shiro here, actually. There we go. Hey, Force, what's up, mate? How you going? Thank you for popping in. But the sheer amount of healing you have on this build is insane. The prot, the resistance, the resistance is an extra 20% damage reduction. Good lord, it's good. And one thing we want to try and do is use our Searing Fissure to lay down the fire field and then use our Shackling Wave to immobilize people inside. If we can do that, we're sitting fairly pretty. To keep or sell, that's the question. I'd be inclined to... Do you have a Legendary Greatsword already? Because if you do, I might sell. But if you don't, Sunrise is one of the premier OG Legendary weapons. So I think you'd very much enjoy that. I got your crack gen three. Nice. You could make. Oh, you could make Twilight, then make Eternity and sell that. Like Eternity is like just Giga Legendary Greatsword. Your first piece Legendary yesterday. One out of 18. Damn. Very nice, Origin. Congratulations. What one did you get? Beautiful. Some more. Tomes of knowledge and testimonies of heroics. We love it. Now, also, we do, we will be doing some fractals today because literally the only thing stopping us from making ad infinitum now is fractal pages. We went through and did a bit of a harvest of our various accounts as well. So we are sitting on 784 gold now, up from about 100 or something. So we sent over a whole bunch of materials. We've got a whole bunch of tier six. So yeah, we only need a couple hundred gold to actually make add an item which we have on hand we could buy the materials but we're just being hard stuck by fractal pages right now so that is good like oh very nice yeah make a turn in cell to get the free twilight and sunrise skins that's exactly what i did years ago i had a legendary i think i did sunrise and then i made a twilight fused them together so i could get the 
so I could get the skins and then made a eternity. Oh, minions, nice, love it. That's a lot of condies. Where are they? Oh, there they are, nice. And Tarukio's so game still alive? 100% this game is still incredibly populated. And nice. I definitely want to see if we can complete the wood track, because then we get the free pip, which is honestly going to make a lot of our life way easier. It's actually a pre-recorded video from 2012. Oh yeah, including the chat interaction. It's actually just all staged. The no steady definitely playing against robots. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. How you going, Abloom? Thanks so much for popping in. We'll keep an eye on if like a tag pops up on EBG or something, because that means I can actually follow around and get some mad loot. That'd be good. <laughs> Sarcasm train started. <laughs> nice. And so, welcome in. Um, how much gold do you need for full home instance? Oh, damn. Full home instance. You're talking a good couple thousand gold. I wonder you could probably actually check on fast farming to see how much it would be for a like full home instance. But yeah, you're talking probably in the realm of like 5k gold or something. If anyone knows off the top of my head, off the top of their head, like let me know. But the thing about a full home instance is that if you're doing it as a means to make gold, it will basically never pay off. Like, it's going to take years upon years for it to pay off. Some things do pay off quicker than others, but yeah, it is not a wise investment, but it is a fun thing to do. So not everything is about making gold, but that can actually be a particularly expensive one. Or could I do the cheeky, like, Shiro pre-cast as well that'd be pretty sweet where you activate your enchanted daggers then you legend swap before you get in combat so you keep your enchanted daggers mm. it's not just gold you need to also complete achievements and story yeah very much so and we'll go let's go get that first yeah you have to go through and do a whole bunch of achievements and story as well there we go Should be dealt with. Chipping away towards um yak slapper. Need we gear. Have to keep for now. Maybe we'll just get the golden side and work towards it. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. A lot of super adventure boxes get that. No, true, yeah. Just jump in someone else's. Yeah, I recommend doing that. Yeah, capitalize on someone else's home business. That's where you start getting peak value. Did three meds say and this appeared in the cleans cleaning. Suddenly, very nice. Yeah, if you check around daily resets, good points, Finn. There will be tons of people who will be more than willing to help you. Okay, let's go grab all these. We're going to grab them and then pull them around here. You're totally worth doing the garden stuff. That's good to know.
Now the question is, do you want a full home instance? Do you want the enchanted treasure chest? Treasure achievement alone is like 1200 gold. Yeah, I haven't even gone through and done that on my NA account. It's ridiculous. And totally not worth anymore. 100%. Yeah, it's not worth it to go through and get like a full, full home instance. There are some things that are more worth than others. All the living world nodes, I think, are pretty well worth it. Especially the living world season 4 stuff, because volatile magic's like insanely valuable. Or oh, weekly camp capture. We take those. Nice. More badges of honor and skirmish claim tickets. Nice. You probably need, I think she'll need a mastery points and run for legendary amulet. Nice. We are still shipping our way towards that as well. Mm -hmm. Grab that. And gather 15 resource with a logging axe. Nice. Yeah, we're going to go through next week and have all our weeklies and dailies set to World vs. World to force us to do some more Wuff Wuff. But like more tomes, that's actually going to be like a huge source of convenience for us as well. Badges of honor, easier gearing. Chaos, what's up? Morning or should you say evening? Whatever works for you, mate. Good morning to you. Wuff Wuff, yeah, World vs. World. <laughs> Is in tomes um you have yeah i saw that fish it's absolutely insane how many you have yeah the tomes you get as well as the spirit shards and world versus well it's absolutely unhinged are we missing ritual short bow maze for your lacquer and just going to craft it but expensive so we can draw a sender or exotic you go as sender hmm yeah if you use the various currencies if you've got some magnetite you might be able to get one in stat swap what do we got here ah yes and we got we got you fam group everyone up. There we go. Nice. We're here. We're helping. It's good. Oh, you forgot stat swaps a thing. Yeah, 100%. For those more obscure stat types, make sure you go through and stat swap them. In case you recently fell in love um, with World vs. World, find it uh, hard to find what to do in open world. Now, that's the thing. Like When you go through and get like invested in the game mode, which I do recommend. Like, if you're going to go through and have to do some stuff in World vs. World, if you want Complex, if you want Legendary Armor, you want Backpacks, you want all that stuff, try and get invested in it. It's the same goes for any game mode, especially because each game mode has its own quirks, its own set of builds, its own play style, its own rewards. It is another facet of Guild Wars 2 for you to enjoy. And you may as well try and enjoy as much of Guild Wars 2 as you can, because, hey, it means you're just going to get more value from it. The more value you get from the game, the better position you're going to be in. Uh, what to use to pull on Ren? That will be called cool to Anguish there. Because, yeah, that um, pulls enemies in towards you as well, Origin. I'm going to do some early World vs. World and voice are going to lurk. Ah, thank you, Miss Badger. Appreciate the lurk. Jack, hope we're not against each other. It depends which server you're on, mate. Yeah, it might hit up EBG in a bit. Just going through and roaming and flipping camps, like... If you want Conflux... You just have to spend some time in World vs. World, which, yeah, when I did it on NA, I did it when I was transitioning between jobs. I had a month off between jobs when I left my um, first job, then moved over to my second one. So, yeah, all I basically did was just spend time in World vs. World flipping camps. Oh, try not to die. Here's a decent chance that I will die. Now we're good. And, yeah, you will eventually just get it. Which about take. I'm still in this castle by myself. <laughs> Oh, there's always that chance. And Terry, thank you so much for that resub, mate. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Enjoy your continued lack of ads and your wonderful Addy emotes. How many people do we have here? Oh, nice. Ouch. Ooh, that one, that one stung. Okay, we bit off a bit more than we could chew there. Addy, we're just chilling out with Jess at the moment. Addy has had a brilliant day. We went out to the beach earlier today. Addy had some off the lead time. She was an absolute angel. 
then came back, gave her a bath, gave her a good blow dry. So she is living very well at the moment. Let's go and join this squad over here, actually. She was the bonus nasty. Yeah, we got completely wrecked by chill to the bone there. Let's see, Ferris rest, hill waypoint. Ah, okay, so we're coming back here. Perfect. Okay, so need the inscription anthology of heroes in Ecto. That uh, seems fine enough. Yeah, honestly, that's fine. It'll be a couple gold. But yeah, if you are looking to get some more obscure stat types or you get some random ascender drops, that's really what you should do. No, hi, Addy. Go through turn, Addy Cameron. Addy, on your bed. Good girl, sweetie. There she is. There's the baby. She's smelling very fresh at the moment after a shower as well. And Addy says hello, everyone. She is absolutely zonked today. I need to also go through what I need to figure out what I actually need to um, upgrade in terms of my skills for World Best World. Oh, another Clover. Nice. You bring it the Addy. Thank you, Jess, for popping in and bringing the Addy. I appreciate that. Uh, what is the ritual inscription? Wiki burning? Oh, it's a bit of an odd one, that one. I do already have the give a treat to Addy with channel points. Ah, it's there for bits. So 200 bits and that will give a treat to Addy. A life or a bath for Tricat. Welcome in, Iherm. How are you going? And even I have like, no, I've got two transmutation charges at the moment. So that's actually a bit concerning. But I need to go through and figure out what to spend our rank points on. You can say redeems a um, pat Addy that works when I have time. Yeah, whenever we have time, we'll make sure we go through and give Addy a pat. Oh no. I have to go the long way around. Rip. But yeah, if we could get like the weekly stuff done in World vs. World, because that gives you like so many more skirmish tickets as well. So if you just spend a bit of time World vs. World each week, you're going to go through and get Complex eventually. At best is the guard defense or guard stuff. Um, to start and the sup increase. Nice. Well, I just uploaded a reel on Instagram for her being a frolicking mermaid and seaweed today. Ah, thank you, Jesse. We'll go through and link that in a moment. In fact, you may even be able to. Go through and track that down. Let's do... We're repairing the wall here. Yeah, just keep ranking up guard killer properly. Ah, uh, thank you, Jesse. Everyone, make sure you go check out Addy's Instagram if you want some Pete Golden Trooper content. The cutest Instagram you have ever seen. Nice, yeah, because you're a mod, Jess. You can go through and link. What a cute rank you have. I know. This is teeny tiny here. It's honestly, it's not even that much higher on our NA account. I'm like ranked 360 or something. Main tip for complex is to go on a map and tag all the objectives and flip camps. Yeah, just flipping camps, keeping your participation up, you will get conflux. It's just time. That's all it is. Conflux isn't a hard legendary to get. It's purely just time. Oh, your modding has leveled up. Thank you, Jess. You are the single greatest mod. I appreciate that. There's just 8,000 ranks to go to get to you. Yeah, that's, that's not happening. Yeah, straight up, that's not happening. Oh, let's go and get a tag here. We'll just take short bow. That's good. We can at least run Jalus, so we are going to be pretty useful in a Zerg. I can't be bothered swapping to an actual Zerg um, build here. And thank you, um, Steve, for the follow. Appreciate that. Can we group all these up? Good morning, Pari. Just saw your message in guild chat as well. 
Well, the Wolverine stuff is easy but lengthy to get. Yeah, easy but lengthy. Yeah, we need to be able to carry more supplies as well, but that's a future problem. Your conflux of the gold sink. All legendaries are a gold sink. But we will eventually get full legendary on this account as well. Like, we're honestly a couple days away from ad infinitum as well. Are worth the gold you think though it is yeah the go it is a hundred percent worth it the full legendary trinkets especially is just a hundred and ten percent worth it give ourselves some stability Can we target that cannon we'll deal with that there You can always get legend for $100 real money. That is true, Alias. Like, you could, but that takes the fun out of it. Oh, this was great for Palm Spirit Shout, especially with the Gift of Battle War track. Oh, absolutely. And just purely doing Conflux, you're, if you just have the Gift of Battle War track, you actually need, like, five Gifts of Battle or something. If you rock experience boosters, you will end up with, like, excess um, Gifts of Battle as well. I've only just finished working through my extra Gifts of Battle on my NA account. And I finished Conflux on there like two years ago. There'll be on. What's up, mate? How are you going? I'm trying to gather up the 250 Mystic Coins the longest. That's purely just a gold sink at that point. Oh, no, I don't want to use that. I'm going very well, Mythos. How about yourself, mate? Last time we did Conflux, um, before you were done with the tickets, you can get almost 13 to 15 gifts of battle. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, now it'll be a bit less than that because you get so many extra skirmish tickets from doing the weeklies. But yeah, you will end up with so many extra. Just relaxing, love to hear that. We're also relaxing in a bit of world versus world here, and it's a damn good time. We're going to be doing some fractals a bit later, because we do need... Oh, we should probably go build this. Oh, the flame ram's done. Perfect. But the war track goes faster also, because the weekly... Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, as you go up in the... What is it? Your pips here, you also get extra reward track progress as well, so it's just going to keep ramping up. So the more you do world versus world, the more rewarding it gets. Why'd I do it that way? I use the extra time to do Living World Season 3 War Tracks for Aurora. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing that as well once I get all the gifts of battle that I need. Because, yeah, it means you can skip out on a whole bunch of the achievements as well. Mythos, you can watch my YouTube videos. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, which ones have you been watching, if you don't mind me asking? And did you find them useful? That is the main thing. What are we doing? We're going out here. Mm -hmm. So we're not in the same matchup. Nice, Jack. I have no idea who I matched up with. I do not world versus world a lot. It's not information I have on hand. Lee, please don't donate baggies to blue. Sounds good. We're moving. We're on the move. As long as we can keep our participation up, that's the main thing. Participation is really all we need in world versus world. Let you go, Addy. Oh, well. She'll come back eventually. Mm -hmm. Do I even... Oh, I should actually equip some skills underwater. That seems like a thing I should do. I'll deal with that later, I guess. Oh, yeah, Power Vindicator. Very nice. Yeah, very much enjoyed making that build. I'm not making that build guide. And yeah, Power Vindicator is an insanely good build. One of my favorite power DPS options. Deal with this veteran supervisor as well. Underwater skills and world versus world. If I can at least just have them there. I've got like some trash weapons on there. I think I've got like some berserkers weapons. But yeah, I should at least have some skills equipped. Especially because like Revenant Underwater kind of slaps actually. Pitch, you're going to post this build on Discord? Yeah, I'll go through and I'll post the video that I got it from. 
But yeah, it has been like very fun for the little amount that we've gone through and actually played. I've had a great time with it. Let's deal with this one. I should probably do the immob first and then the fire field to keep the mobs in place or else they're just not landing. Yeah, um, underwater rev, necro, mesmer are the best. True, yes. Uh, I don't want to use that. Oh, there's a whole bunch of peeps there. Run, 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 run. Got a whole bunch of blues. All right. We are porting. Okay. I think people like to play this. Yeah, I think so as well. It's insanely fun, actually. Oh, Reaper Shroud underwater slaps. Yeah, Reaper in particular is just like monumentally good underwater. And speaking of playing your Power of Indicator building, plan for Convergence is nice, um, a Bloom. How you been enjoying it? Uh, good. That is wood done. I believe. Yes, it is. Sweet. Cool. So we get an extra pip next week. So that is going to help our progress towards Conflux even more. Oh, Sigil of Stamina. Yes, yeah, Sigil of Stamina just breaks Power of Indicator in open world. It's absolutely insane. This underwater fighter is Thief. I think Thief is actually pretty good underwater, particularly because of how initiative works. You can just spam some absolute banger skills. A blaze from underwater is funny, still do the same dragon tree animation. Nice. I have I straight up have not played enough Blaze want to even see it underwater. <laughs> but that is cool. As long as you're not a mechanist, you're usually in a pretty good spot. And please do all the old weeklies, I'll give more tickets too. Yes, we do need to go through and do those as well. Um, go remove mastery points. I want world versus world weeklies. And Ruin Runner. Yeah, we'll have to go through and do some of those. Don't miss. Keep Capture it. Nice. We will just go through and do World vs. World. Like, we've done some, I guess. In Rango, apparently doesn't give a like on water. Is that the case? If it is, that's insane and should not be the case. Do we have enough supply? Yeah, it should not be the case because it's linked to Renegade class skills. Yeah, I would think so. And what commission apples? Yeah, because Renegade is like, it's purely just a profession skill, so it's not actually tied to anything underwater, so that should be fine, but mm, unless there's some weird bug that I'm not aware of. Sure, I think it does it's an aura around the character. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an aura, well, no, it is an aura around the character. I know that for damn sure. Glass and mechanist, yeah. As long as you're not mechanist, you're in a pretty you're not in the worst spot underwater. Mechanist underwater is just sad as hell. See if we can grab Stone Mist. Our mechanist, the mech now joins you. Ah, oh, does it now? Has that been like a very recent change? Oh, hello. Whoop. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm just going to leap over here. Leap over. Oop. Oh. Whoop. Get some stability here. Going to start actually applying some pressure to peeps. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this one's going to hurt. Can we leap out here? <laughs> Thanks, Colm. Run, run. Run, run, run. Okay, we're out of combat now. Nice. Let's go get some more supply anyway. No, some weapon two skills get affected, not class. Everything else is fake news. <laughs> nice. Welcome in and back. How are you going? 
It gives you some damage skill for underwater. Barry burst doesn't come up to underwater. Oof, it's unfortunate. Do we have any more supply? I'll grab that. Let's go do some lumbering as well. And what are people getting with their skirmish chests? I'm just getting badges of honor. Like, I'll probably actually get really good value from the testimonies as well. I'm doing a frack, doing it to underwater one, had a rent set, a lack didn't work. I would be very surprised if that wasn't the case, if that was the case. I could be wrong, but I'm like 90% sure that it works. Is anyone going to use that? I'd prefer not to, given I don't have any of, like, the buffs for it. Testimonies or badges? Nice. Yeah, the badges, I think, are, well, obviously, they're great for gearing. Gearing for badges of honor is insanely cheap. Probably better to get the Jade Heroics or the Siege. Okay. Like, yeah, we do need, like, a ridiculous amount of Jade Heroics as well. And Amalola, welcome in, new to Guild Wars 2, what game mode is this? This is World vs. World, so basically large-scale open-world PvP. We're going through and doing it because I haven't actually done a lot of it on this account, and we do need a whole bunch of progress in it towards legendary items as well. And World vs. World stream, welcome in, I'm Rendy. how are you going? And yes, we're doing a bit of World vs. World today, we're also going to do some fractals and a whole bunch of PvE and game stuff. Sundays basically are... We are going to progress our EU account kind of day. Okay, we're just like really cranking this one, I think, by the looks. All right. As long as we keep our participation up, that is fine. Oh, no, I don't really want to use that, though. Can I build this? Hello? Build trebuchet. I think your ritual's gear is done. Nice, that's good. Oh, you never spend your badges, but never went for World vs. World Legendary Armor, so... Um, may need a bit for that. I suspect you probably will need a bit for that. And I thank you, um, Bacasta, for the follow. I appreciate you, my friend. Arendi, I figured I'd pop in and check, um, things out. I follow, I recommend your stream. Oh, nice. I'm to catch you live. Love my voice. Oh, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. And thank you for the follow as well. You're far too kind. Really appreciate you popping in. Oh, what server you play? I am on Seafarer's Rest, um, Zuhu. On EU. Ballers pass on NA. We'll go build trebuchet here. There is so much siege here. Basically, mostly use flame rams, catters, trebs rarely, and arrow cuts sometimes if you're defending, but they just get smashed from Ellie Star 5. Yeah, I have seen them just get completely yeeted. You really have to get a legendary short bow. Time to work on Trooper and Trumpet because you love the animation. Oh, I love Trooper and Trumpet as well. That is my favorite short bow. That's the one that I have on my NA account. I think we... Are we sharing participation or something? No, we'll find out. Yeah, Chuka and Chumper what was great. I have good memories of that. Zanius, how are you going? Yes, we will be blasting some world versus world today. Or at least for a good chunk of the stream. Because, yeah, we need some more gifts of battle. We need skirmish tickets as well. And I would like to get Stone Mist Castle if that's a thing we can do. Because that will be very nice for our weekly as well. And some mad experience. I would probably go flip some camps at some point to keep our participation up, but meh. We've done part one so far and you're stuck with the whole craft with the second part, just a lot of stuff. Yes, some of the Gen 2 legendaries in particular, just big fat material sinks. Hi, Addy. Good girl. Addy hath returned. I think she's got she's had cheese now. Why are we building trebuchets here? Are we mad? Yeah, we'll go keep. Now we're loaded up on Siege, so that is good. Now, if we do get a bit bored going through and doing stuff in EBG, we can go back to roaming in the Borderlands as well. There is that option. We grabbed that Vista, didn't we? Nice. What are we doing here? Building defense at inner keep first. Okay, they're building a whole bunch of defenses. Fine, they're actually doing it properly. Are you playing the World Best World Reset or just now? Oh, just now. 
Get the ruined one done. Yeah, we can go and do that, I think. So what we might actually do is, yeah, go and actually capture a whole bunch of the ruins. We'll do that. Plus, yeah, you sometimes deploy siege stuff over down enemies to prevent them getting res. That's nice. That is a handy trick there. I love it. Okay, so recently you were on Red Team Blue Castle infiltrated, found greens on lawn. Blues came in from our side, fought them off, captured and chased them all out. It was amazing. Yeah, the fun experiences you can get in World vs. World are absolutely insane. Can we grab that one? No, we'll probably circle around and grab that. I love Dressable Metatron. <laughs> Yeah, see if we can go, if we could grab, this is probably already getting captured, but let's just make a run over here. Hey Annie, what's up? How are you going? Thanks so much for popping in. Everyone go check out the incredible Fireball Annie on Twitch. Long, long time friend of the stream and incredible Guild Wars 2 streamer. What's up Annie? And yeah, Daylight Savings has gone through and fortunately gained us another hour of sleep. We've gone through and just adjusted our Twitch schedule ever so slightly. So we're now starting an hour earlier than we normally would. Oh, yes. Hello, friend. We got you. Come here. I should probably actually... Oh, that's a lot of condies. Oh, boy. Okay, so I'm just going to back off a smidge. I should probably actually eat some food as well. Mm, this mirage is going to be a bit of a slippery sausage. I really do need to eat some food. Oh, that's a lot of condies. And big reflex inbound. Yes, yeah, straight. We've done no damage. This is not going to go well. Yeah, let's go and actually eat some food. There we go. But we're doing a bit of world versus world because we do need some more progress towards conflux in particular. All right, let us go here and then run back. Brian Fisher, legendary PV amulet. My goodness, it took you a hot minute. Oh, I know, Annie. I'm gradually working on it on my EU account. It does take a while. If you focus in on it, you could probably do it in like a week or two, but... Yeah, especially if um, you're like us and go through to a whole bunch of endgame PV, going back and doing the story can be a bit of a drag. I wish Lincoln you got for this week. Remarkable question. Um, see Pharaoh's Rest. How do we actually see? We've got Kodash, Ring of Fire, and Dezagnor, Augury Rock, and Visna Square. Been on two map completion entire time, both in poor mounts, not your strength. Well, fortunately, it is way better now that you actually have mounts, and it's nowhere near as bad. Oh, we got a. Yeah. Do we worry about capturing? Now we'll capture the camp first, then we'll deal with the hollow smith. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. Avoiding Ring of Fire, they are spamming your roaming dead eyes. Very nice. Use the boom corrupt on them. Yeah, we should have gone through and done that. We should have actually been a bit more conservative with our energy as well. Is that Malik's Vindicator? Yeah, we're playing Malik's Vindicator today. Wish you could 1v1 be um, easier with World vs. World Balance. That would be very nice if you could 1v1 people a bit easier. Let's go and deal with this. Is it a thing? It's a thing for roaming. But purely, like, it's just Malix purely for the Condies and mostly for, like, the resistance access as well, which gives you extra damage mitigation. And Vindicator purely for the defensive boons. Which is probably actually... Oof. Can we... We're not getting that res. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we are not living our best life here. And we're about to get ganked a bit here. some boons. Give ourselves a bit of resistance. It's just going to take forever at this stage. Yeah, I think we're kind of just like stuck in a perpetual stalemate here, actually. Well, like obviously now we've got a few people um, intervening here. Hey, Pooch, what's up, mate? How's it going? Thanks so much for popping in. Oh, thank you, Jess, for dinner as well. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you. We have a wonderful dinner with, that. I believe it's a guacamole salad, some roasted capsicums and some potatoes and shredded chicken as well with some sauerkraut. It looks amazing. Hey, Eddie, what's up? No, you can't have my dinner. So this thing only kind of lasts forever. And if you can clear your burning, you do no damage to you otherwise. Yeah, we do have a whole, a whole bunch of Condi cleanse in the build as well. No, Eddie, you can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> She's resting her head on our arm. <laughs> I'd come back to your request. Is there a certain style you'd like for your character? Thanks to the name or anything else. Um, in terms of the name, I think we are rocking Lysio Rin. So just like a very similar name to sort of our template that we're using all the time. But I'm really not too fussed. Whatever you think will look good for a human female Revenant Fiery. And thanks so much, Annie, for shouting out Jess. Everyone, make sure you go check out Jess on Twitch as well, and Connor Carbonara. She is our incredible food sponsor. <laughs> Your head is so heavy. <laughs> but thank you so much for the shout. I appreciate that. I can repeat the last one. Ah, yeah, we have shredded chicken or sauerkraut as well. I made a good one for me. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You both got nice stain. Yeah, it was like ridiculous level sustain there. I think we would have just like been in a complete <laughs> Addy, your head is getting heavier. Yeah, I think it just literally would have been a complete stalemate. Let's see if we can go and actually grab some of these ruins as well. Because we do actually need that for the weekly. Let's go and blast. No, Addy, you can't have this. Like so much of it's poisonous to you, <laughs> and also you've eaten it. I don't think makes faces. You make the armor usually very nice. Whatever you both think will look very good. So it's kind of funny pronouncing English sauerkraut. Love that one. Yeah, I'm sure the pronunciation is very different to what it is in German. Let's go through and grab that. It's good because it's actually time for us to go and eat. Oh, already spilt. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Jess just told us it's a beetroot and apple sauerkraut. <laughs> Everyone's best place to be jumped by enemies. I fully expect that to happen. It's not that far away. Um, but do I, uh, do I pronounce the, the R are different? Oh, okay, good to know. Ours in particular are very different across different languages as well. Jess and I are both learning Spanish at the moment, and yeah, the amount they roll their R's compared to English is ridiculous. No, Addy, you can't have this. 
Have you thought about using Axe Hop Hand in this build? Yeah, I have thought about it, Sven. I probably will go through and try that at some point, because, yeah, the mobility on Sword is good, but we also get that from... <laughs> and you can't have it. And you get it. That's quite rude, you cheeky little sausage. Yeah, the, we do get the mobility from Axe 4 as well, and the extra condies might give us a bit of extra pressure, because I'm finding we got ridiculous sustain, but a bit of extra damage pressure might actually be really appreciated. On your bed. <laughs> Daddy's just like staring up at us going, I want your food, Dad. Now you've already eaten today, Addy. Good girl, there you go. Epinaru, welcome in. And what do you think is better in open world? Scrapper or Spellbreaker? I'm inclined to say Scrapper, purely because of super speed. Super speed is such a wonderful piece of quality of life that you don't really get easy access to on many other builds. So I think you'll really enjoy that. And Soulstone, welcome in. Do you have any recommendations for someone who is looking to do more in-game content in Guild Wars 2? Really enjoy the game, but without having people to play with, the game just kind of feels eh. To get into more end-game stuff, pick, uh, find the class you're playing. Try and find a good build for it. You can also check out our YouTube channel if I have any build guys that may suit your fantasy. But websites like Snowcrows, Hardstuck, Metabody, you want to get a good build to start with. And then once you have that, get comfortable with it. And then you can just start jumping into strikes and raids from there. But I definitely recommend starting off with a good build. That's going to make your life way easier. So yeah, check out your websites. Like Snowcrows in particular is an absolutely incredible one. And yeah, Orca, we are doing a bit of World vs. World to start off this evening. You should have it. Don't know why that didn't work, but hey, there we go. Let's go and grab this. Uh, so is this a good warrior build for open world? There'll be tons of great warrior builds for open world. I don't play a lot of warriors, so I won't be able to like recite them off the top of my head, but they are out there. Need to shout it? Yes, we need to shout it from the rooftops. Discord! You've been playing and joining your Condi Mesmer and your Power Quickness Warrior, but yeah, it feels like you're out of wall. Both very good builds, particularly Condi Virtuoso, like probably one of the best overall DPS builds in the game at the moment. Have you spent any time in the DPS or the Special Forces training area on the DPS goal and practicing your rotation? Because if you, even if you don't spend like a huge amount of time in there, spending a little bit of time in there just to see how like you stack up in terms of the DPS benchmarks can be incredibly valuable. And yeah, there's so much you can do in open world as well. And yeah, 100%, if you have any questions, feel free to jump into our Discord as well. Then either myself or someone else from our wonderful community will be able to help you. Yeah, as long as we can keep our tier 6 participation. There we go. So I think it's one more round of the ruins and then we are good. Goldsec, what's up, mate? How are you going? Thank you for popping in. No class feels so unique on their core version compared to uh, some warrior. Core warrior is actually viable. Yeah, core warrior is actually a pretty good build. CC for days, true. Warrior does have like unfathomable amounts of CC. No, you're back out. So I'm sorry to hear that, Gossack. Hope your back feels better soon. Back pain is awful. Make sure you rest up and look after yourself. Ow, what's up, mate? Mm, an impact. So about tomorrow, do you want to start with the next week or pre-long it a bit longer about what we talked? I think tomorrow, we might start tomorrow. And yeah, so everyone, what we're looking to do 
on our raid night on our raid night on Monday, what we will be doing. Let's go through. Can we? What we will be going through and doing. Can we deal with this one? Hmm. What we'll be doing is actually doing some raid challenge mode training. So we're going to go through and basically move on from the... We're going to move on from the uh, regular raid clears and start focusing on doing some challenge modes as well, just to up the difficulty a bit. And this one is going quite well. There we go. So we might start doing like some wing four challenge modes or something like that. Might see if we can do like quick wing one clear as well, so no fiery needs it. That's okay, when people kill, so it won't hurt as badly. True, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Oh no, tomorrow, oh, okay, in that case we can just focus on doing like straight raid CMs then. But we're gonna be doing some raid CM training tomorrow as well to get everyone, basically advance the point where we can start to deal with those consistently. I think it's time to start your own guild and someone else will run it for you. That is 100% like the only conceivable way we could ever like think of starting our own guild. Someone else would have to literally do all the work, like 100% of it. I'm sorry to hear, Fari, that you're back to work. Mm, some more skirmish claim tickets. We take those. Beautiful. But it's something like I've considered. There's no immediate plans to do that. Maybe one day. I cannot do CM good. That's right. That's why we're going to be going through and doing training for them. I can't send a formal Discord for Radiant Fractal training. So much work to do. Yeah, going through and setting up a Discord, it's, it's a lot of work to do. Hey Lou, what's up mate? How are you going my friend? It's so good to see you. Hope you're having an incredible day. And good luck on the CM trains. Thank you, Void. I appreciate you popping in. How has your day been, my friend? Oh, where's the treat monster? Oh, she's right there. She's down in her bed. Does she need help setting up Discord? Feel free to grab you from Discord. You build people's Discord all the time. Ah, very nice for you. Might hit you off some tips at some point. You've done all from Wing 4. Very nice. But no, going through, doing the raid CMs will be a fantastic learning experience. But tonight we are making some excellent progress in World versus World. We've gone through, finished. Wood, we're onto silver now, which is pretty sweet. Obviously still early days, but they're good early days. I'm gonna go and grab this camp. Mm -hmm. Which thing are we starting in? We'll do this, there we go. Oh, nice, two dog acts as well. And what you're doing? Uh, right now, Lou, we are working on some just world versus world. Mostly a bit of roaming. Trying to just get some progress towards uh, Conflux. Because we honestly have been putting it off for so long. So it's time for us to honestly start chipping away at it. I'm so pro at dumping tough. Purely being hard carried by Celestial Vindicator at the moment. I have to go through and try it on Herald as well, to be honest. Especially the factor stuff is so much work too. True, yeah, I can definitely see that. Here we go. And doing well, thanks. Just got the new beginner's parallax mech gear sorted. Uh, she out to the public and looking at what you need to clean up in the characters. Very nice. That sounds fantastic.
And Jurian, welcome in. You have enough claim tickets this week for the Dan Bring. Very nice. Well done. I sent a breakdown over to your DMs. Well, excellent. Thank you. We'll go and check that out later, but appreciate that. We'll claim that. Chichu the King of Builds. Hell yeah. Love that. Thank you for sending that through. But that is awesome. I'm Jurian of, of getting everything you need for Conflux. That's a big accomplishment. And yeah, you can go through and farm up claim tickets very, very well now. Go through blast the area blindness. And everyone go check out oh hang on, we're whoop. We've got a daredevil here. was fun. Come here. We're not done with you yet. Yas. Condies for the win. There we go. You finished our shout out now. Excellent. Thank you so much for shouting out Lou and I really appreciate that. Everyone go check out the wonderful Master Lou on Twitch. What's up mate? So we need the axe? Yeah it is kind of where we need the axe. What an untimely ad. Perfect. Hang on where are you? Did I win? Was I successful? Do I shout? It's all good. We're purely being carried by the sheer magnitude of the strength of Celestial Vindicated now. It's great. Oh, you want the commentary in the fight? There wasn't too much commentary, to be honest. Just the fact that um, we had so many conduits, I couldn't really do too much. That's good now. I can keep eating now. Basically, we had to rain hellfire because they disturbed our meal. That's rocked up. They broke into our house. While we were eating dinner, walked up to us at the dinner table and slapped us with a glove. It's unacceptable. We are not here for that. Worst would roam 101 slash you as king. It is. Yeah, honestly. It is absolutely busted, Celestial and World vs. World. It's coming with always going good. You get your last World vs. World back skin for the pre skin. Very nice, Gothic. That is fantastic. I'm just going to keep wandering this way while I grab another mouthful. And yeah, Lou, that's basically it. That was our commentary there. Mm. I might go try Axe, actually. I hate how... I love how salty people get you for run selling. Like, yes, why won't you run the best that you can? True. Yeah, like, if you're a Roman World vs. World, Celestial's just, like, the go-to easy build. Because you the sheer amount of sustain you get, particularly on Condi builds, is just unfathomable. Some decent loot as well. We take those some more tomes of knowledge. Excellent. We have so many characters level up as well. So yes, we get some peak value from world versus world. And let's go and kite all these around the back of this wood mill here, I guess. Pop down stability road. Just gonna wait. And now we're just going to start just like spamming the crap out of Condies. Oh, we've got Mace Killer. We take those. And yeah, enjoy your nap there, Gossack. Yeah, I think we might swap out Sword for Axe. We'll go and do that after we deal with this camp. I should have a Celestial Axe floating around, I think, actually. Beautiful. That is being captured. Oh, Celestial is broken in World vs. World. I do not disagree with that. But yeah, you're running a competitive game mode. You run the broken things. That's what you do. Mm. 
I don't think that would be particularly broken there, a bloom, if they did a power version of Celestial. Because one of the reasons that power builds in particular really don't like running Celestial a lot is because power builds are incredibly dependent on crit capping if you want to get the most damage. Like, you really miss out on hideous amounts of damage if you don't crit on power builds. And every time you don't crit, you'll just miss out on so much damage. So, yeah, World uh, for Even if they shifted the stats over to precision, you still wouldn't crit cap. It would obviously be better for power builds, but I still don't think it would be absolutely busted. It would just be the power celestial builds would probably be maybe around the point that the current, like, Condi versions of celestial builds are. I don't get asked for looking at me. Oh, thank you, Void. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you. I, I literally was going to go through and grab a fireworks one from my bank. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. You're a legend. You can get more dragon. Yeah, you've got that as well. So there is sort of that option. Okay, so let's go through. Drag this here. Soul by that. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. And we need Sigil of Energy. Let's go through and get that. Mm -hmm. Sort of energy. I do have like one of those sitting in my guild bank, but I can't be bothered getting it at the moment. Mine, all mine. Again, it's stuff in your bank that you're not using. Nice, nah, got enough weapons there. Starting another guild war. Love to hear that. That is awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to enjoy that. And then what we could potentially do. We do have the option as well of running, if we want to be a bit more offensive, we can run Abyssal Chill here. So when we chill a foe, particularly with our Frigid Blitz, we'll inflict more torment as well. That could be fun to go through and do. There'll be less sustain, but might be a little bit more busted. Let's go through and give it a shot. And how are we going for our... So we've got a little bit way to go before we are done with bronze, but that is all right. And yeah, 100%, the World vs. World um, Badges of Honor vendor where you can get the cheap exotic gear is insanely valuable. What relic we're we using? We are using Relic of Naos. Removing a condition from yourself heals you. Because we have just so much Condi Cleanse baked into this build, that is what we are rocking at the moment. Now, we do have someone chilling over here. Oh, outnumbered. Nice. Hmm. What's that? No, Hollow Smith. Oh, it's that one. Oh, we'll go and deal with this. friend I don't remember chasing that back in the day for pips oh you and me both Orca I was always just like seeking that out oh hello let's go see if we can deal with this one Oh, we are getting a little bit ruffle stomped. Not really. I just need to conserve a bit of energy. Need to not be blinded in particular. I think the extra damage pressure in particular has been very handy. See if we can get our friend up here. Hmm, we're gonna struggle with that. Anyone? Help! Might get some stability here. Mm-hmm. Now if we can actually I kind of want to just get back around this corner. Oh, 
Oh. Um, we might just backtrack around here because we do have some other green friend here. Hmm. Fair enough. Go through a deal with... Oh, we've got a few peeps here. Okay, hang on. Let's go out this way. And leap around here. We need to try and... Protect ourselves a bit here. Now, if we can... Whoop. Not enjoying this right here. Okay, we're going to just leap around here. Oh, nice. We are going to let our blue friend distract people. And no, blue friend, you'll keep doing... You'll do shenanigans over there, whereas I will deal with this dead eye. Whoop. Or in our case, get completely murked. Make sure you get resistance and laugh in the face of blindness. True, we should do that. A forbidden O word in team chat. <laughs> yeah, outnumbered. <laughs> yeah. Send everyone else over to the outnumbered board land and then removes it. Gold match, what is up? How you going? Found full world versus world armor, complex and back piece back then. Damn. Five seven hours day in world versus world. Yeah. If you're going to go through and farm it quick, that's kind of what you have to do. And yeah, you have a fantastic rest of your day, Impact. Looking forward to catching you tomorrow. Oh, I need to. Eat some more, actually. There we go. I need to actually probably get some better food. Oh, that was a lot of burst right there. One shot, they just eliminated like half our health. Nice. Very good. Okay. Do we go hit up EBG now? Let's see. If we find another decent tag, that'll be good. And I'm glad that added more quality of life and ways to get tickets for running yaks um, on off hours back then was mind numbing. Yeah, I completely agree. Going through and doing... Basically, just when I did Complex, it was just flipping camps. I literally spent like a month flipping camps. That's how I got it. It's not particularly fun. There's so many more fun things you could be doing. So I'm glad they actually added in some other ways to do it. Like going through and capturing stone mist and everything, doing your weekly. So many other ways to get. Um, nice. Are we going down? Oh, are we? No, oh, no. We we're committing to it now. <laughs> Retreat. We. This, this is a terrible decision. This is a very. It was a very bad decision. We're just, we're just gonna pull back. There we go. Mm -hmm. I will finish my meal eventually. Any power scrapper, super speed escorting accolade, don't need to do that anymore. Mmm, true. When I did my world versus world, I basically just did it on Trailblazer, Condi, Daredevil. Yeah, swap to Centaur for Bubble while defending. Ah, big brain. Swap out Malix for this. Mmm, big noodle thinking. I love it. Oh, we've got some arrow cards. I wouldn't mind um, grabbing some of those. That might be quite fun. Oh, can we go and grab that arrow cart? Let's try that. Why not? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're all nicking off. Oh, well. Hey, thank you so much, Kiss and Death, for the follow. I appreciate you, mate. Thank you. 
Oh, we've got like the entire group over there. <laughs> that was a cheeky pull. Nice, I love it. Biggest of noodle sorts. True, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of keen to swap back to Malix after that. Was, uh, ugh. Ooh, some oyster soup. Let's get that. It's probably actually better for us. Yes, that's it. That's what I want. That should give us trademark pulling people to death. Love it. It like pulls them over as well, especially the mess ones. Like no time to react to it. Yeah, 100%. They just lay it down and you're not sure when they're actually going to do it. Accompanied by It's Rainy Men um, soundboard. Hell yeah, that sounds brilliant. Okay, mate, now we'll be good. We'll go back. We must renew ourselves. <laughs> that pull. Ouch. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> okay, we're just not going to stand anywhere near there. Like, that's just straight up not working for us. We're learning the hard way here. Yeah, rip indeed. That's right. Back we go. Every run back is time for us to eat, so actually it's not the worst thing that's ever happened. Where was the stab? Other legend. But yeah, we'll go through and actually pop some stab on. Bentari Bubble's not doing much there. Okay, there we go. We're just gonna chill here now. There we go. You got this, team. Go, team, go. Let's go and get the res. Okay. Need one kill to get credit for the defense. All right, all right. Okay, so they've all waddled off now. Let's go follow the com. I just realized your trial revenant officially surpassed your first rev in terms of hours. Very nice, congratulations, that's awesome. Okay, we've got a Ventari bubble up. Let's pop some stab down. And this is going to get sketch, isn't it? If we can actually... I just need a tag, actually. We can tag, just need some hits. It's gonna be a bit hard for us to get. Okay, let's just give ourselves some more stability. We're a decent sized squad here though, so that is good. Hey, thank you so much TTV for the follow. I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you. And Pooch, you've been playing MMOs for over 20 years and measurements by far the most unique class you've encountered any MMO. Nice, I'm inclined to agree. I'm going very well, TTV. What about yourself, mate? Oh, yes, let's go and actually get some kills over here. Nice, there we go. I just need participation, honestly. Nice, there we go. That's what we want. That's what we're here for.
I should run. Should I be running hammer? I probably should be. Oh, nice. Sweet, sweet Get to battle more track tier five. Nice. It's a game in a nice state. Honestly, the game is in a really nice state. If you're a newer player, they want to try new and most want to check out Guild Wars 2. Very nice. Well, welcome in. Guild Wars 2 is in, honestly, it's an incredible state. I'd say it's probably actually in one of the best states it's been in for years. Incredibly nice, incredibly stable. Balance is in a good spot. It's good. Hammer's only good if you're on full power. Yeah, we do have one here. Force and Hydromancy, but yeah. So I would have to swap over to my full like, power build, whereas I can't kind of be bothered. And there's a Gibbles who is the best marketing Gibbles 2 had. Oh, that marketing though. Whoa. Even start as a solo newbie? 100%. Guild Wars 2 is an incredibly solo friendly MMO, but most of my time playing Guild Wars 2 has been done um, playing solo and just like pugging things. That is like where the vast majority of my time in Guild Wars 2 is. Secret rest overlook where we go. I'm going back here. Hearthorn's not solo friendly, freaking raptors. It's a bit better now, especially with things like mounts and all the other masteries you can get. But yeah, that one was a bit rough um, for solo players. But no, honestly, I think it's just a fun challenge overall. The next time you start as a solo newbie seven months ago, enjoyed it a lot. Love to hear that. Let's go through and repair this. You haven't lived till you got um, eaten by a bunch of Pocaraptors first time. I'm inclined to agree. And the community is insanely helpful as well. Now you're revenant run trick. We will get you another class at some point, Exeter. Eventually you will um, just pick up another class just out of sheer necessity. And how are we doing for our war track? Like, honestly, we're getting very close to finishing off our war track as well. Never will. <laughs> Revenant is love. Revenant is life. Revenant is love, and it is life. But other classes are good too. A new channel point of redemption to force Exxon to play another class. Oh, I love that idea. <laughs> that is brilliant. That's big brain. And Shadow Owner, welcome in. Just started again, so I'm excited what to play. So you just stare at character select screen nowadays. Oh, I feel your pain there. Like on this account, I've got 17 characters and on NA, I've got 24. Number of days where I sort of just have to like pick a character and just log in and be like, well, I'm playing Ellie today. I'm trying to make Mesmer since you've always been intrigued by it. Now your problem is that um, when you're running meta trains, it feels bad trying to tag mobs and we can just boon everyone on Herald for free. You may enjoy Power Mirage. Power Mirage is a really good one for tagging in particular. So that one you might enjoy. All right, cheap so we can spam. Oh yeah, they have to they have to create a new class and like swap to it. Yeah, that's it. That's the play. <laughs> you <can> get bully. <laughs> No, it's just some gentle ribbing. Spam target swap and auto. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just graceful, right? Yeah, true. But it's even better on Mirage. Old school Guardian loot stick. Oh, I miss old school Guardian loot stick. I really do. Yeah, you just like run that in just like um, open world meta trains and in world versus world and just get all the tags. It was so damn good. What makes Mirage so good at? Particularly the ambush skill on Greatsword. It basically shoots out a whole bunch of lasers in each direction. It's fantastic for tagging. Guardian Hammer's bug was legendary. It's been bugged several times. Which bug are you referring to? Uh, are we just like defending this one all the time? In which case, I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, how you doing that, baby? Yeah, the bed and the couch. But no, you must lay next to both of them. I you know the best tag was short bow daredevil trick shot on you super fast. Oh yeah, 
Short bow on thief is insane for tagging. Um, Raj is a bit of overkill. Works fine with greatsword and dagger. Good to know. But yeah, Daredevil in particular is insanely good for tagging. That is one of my favorite farming builds. If I'm ever so inclined to actually farm. And Addy says hi there, kissing death. I started playing on alt and what's a good NA well this world to join I'm not 100% sure <clears throat> if anyone like knows do ask really just sort of any high population one will probably be pretty good no any advice for dog I love it <laughs> it depends on what time you play as well And to be fair, Addy's a true stream here. Josh is just doing the entertainment if she isn't here because of memes. Absolutely, yeah. I actually don't do too much. It's really just Addy. We're actually a pet stream, not really a Guild Wars 2 stream. Not truly. If you're roaming, any world is okay. If you want a Zerg run, the group probably needs to be in a world that also runs in your time zone. True, yeah. And I think even as a new player, like you may even be able to get like a free transfer or something. I'm not 100% sure. The Golden Lady's a true star. She really is. Let me go through and adjust that can. There she is. She's a sleepy girl today after all the time at the beach. I made you complain about your YouTube video. You searched for it on YouTube and got a recipe videos and results. Now you're hungry. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's brilliant. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a legitimate complaint. I'm like, oh no, what have I forgotten? Is it one of the many spelling mistakes I always leave in the videos because I can't actually spell? She even got a dino. She does. Yeah, she's got Denise her dino there. Oh, yeah, three dogs. You love animals. Ah, nice. What kind of dogs do you have, Kiss and Death? Yeah, Addy is a three-year-old golden retriever, and we love her to bits. She is an absolute little angel. She was so good at the beach day. We even let her off lead. She, like, ran, like, a little bit ahead of us, but was always looking back. Um, she would go up, play with other dogs, but wouldn't get right up in their face. She was very respectful of them. You do a bunch of hero point farms to unlock all the elite specs. Definitely recommend doing that. Or if you do world versus world, as I am doing a bit of now, because I have not done much of it in the past. As you can see, to me, dying to all manner of things I probably shouldn't. But your testimonies of heroics are fantastic for it. Basically instant um, elite spec unlock. There we go. Ventari bubble, just just up all the time. A one Jack Rouse on two Spanish street dogs and four cats. Oh, that's amazing. They sound absolutely adorable. Oh no, my participation. I actually need that. Hey, let's go this way. But no, Addy did really, really well at the beach today. Just now, very proud. And then, oh, she was an angel, like, in the shower as well, because we have to give her a bath after going to the beach. She gets in the water. She'd try and drink a lot of the ocean water, though. So, yeah, we do need to deal with that. But, yeah, like, just basically, we just go get Addie in the shower. So, okay, Addie, time for a shower. And then I just, like, turn on the shower, open it. She just, like, goes and trots in and goes sits in the corner. It's like, yep, I'm ready for my shower. I'm like, oh, thank you, sweetie. Addie identifies a seal. Yes, yeah, she is part seal. Should probably run Herald. Hmm, that might be fun. Let's do that. Once we get out of combat, there we go. Okay, Herald. Yeah. Is that the for Celestial Roaming Herald? Is that the set of traits? 
If anyone knows, let me know, or else I'll just, like, Google it. I probably will. Um, actually, no, we'll go guild gen, actually. Your parents, Golden, is now 9, 10 months old and almost done growing. He's huge. Oh, Goldens can get massive. Addy is, like, really, really small for a Golden, actually. But, yeah, whenever we go out to, like, the beach, there'll be like, other Goldens there. And, yeah, there's so many, like, big, like, unit Goldens out there. Let's find you. Yeah, that looks about right. Like, I'm purely just going from rough memory there. But that looks fine. And Give me Celestial Herald. Your heal Vindicator is really good for random though, since most players are damaged. True, yeah. That is something we can consider. Um, I would probably actually need to go... I could actually. How many Testimonies of Heroics do we have? No, like, no Testimonies of Heroics. No, I don't have enough to unlock Heal Vindicator on actual Healing Herald, because I do have one that's set up in Harrier's Gear, although I would probably benefit more from Minstrels. And, yep, that's fine. Oh, actually, it's core value. Oh, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Nice. In terms of... Run Glint. We'll yeet. Um, yeah, we'll do this. Yep, that kind of checks. At least now we can provide a whole bunch of boons to people and then, like, get credit. So that's good. I can use what you had before and just swap Vindy to Herald. Good to know. I've got some arrow cards in there as well, unfortunately, by the looks. Let's go get some flame rams up. Oh, we've got some greens incoming. Nice. Oh, yes, lots of them. Okay, let's go. We're going to start getting a whole bunch of... Let's keep this up on our tag. Cool, that hurt. Oh, no stability. Stay grouped up on the... Whoop. Sunbreak. Oh, Glint Heal. There we go. Oh, Glint Heal. So good. Do I have Snap Target on? I probably shouldn't have that on. Yeah, it really should be running... Hammer. Or what? Power Herald here. I could swap to that if I was so inclined. Run! Run, Josh! Oh! Yeah, we could probably swap over to Power Herald, actually. And where are we going? We're going to see Pharaoh's Rest. Hmm. There is a... That's set. Okay, that will be... Let's run this. Let's go Power Herald. Force and Air. So that's Force and Stamina. We have Bloodlust and Energy there. We've got a Hammer one there. Power Hammer Renegade is quite good for fights like that. Mmm. Big Brain. I like it. And Isgaran. Yeah, I wouldn't mind some Power Renegade, actually. That would be pretty hot. Mm. And let's check what we need. <sighs> let's grab Movement Skills, Grant Resistance. That seems pretty good. That's good. Dance of Death is pretty sweet. Song of the Mist is pretty good. We'll get Incense Response. Get some Condi removal there. Now here, let's try... 
Let's go Renegade. Let's give it a shot. And we'll probably run... Where is... Do we have Renegade? Oof. We don't. We don't have Renegade. Okay. Um, that's, that's a thing. It's a thing we are lacking. And there we go. And we'll, here we will run Jalus. I have not played Renegade on this account. I've just realized that. I thought I did, but... Um, turns out I did not. How many skirmish chests do you have? Nowhere near enough to solve that problem. Point of false gone. We have Renegade unlocked in so many other revenues, just not this one. But yeah, I can imagine Renegade in particular would pop off pretty well in World of this World, especially now that your spirits are like jacked. Oh well, in the meantime. Oh no, they're coming through. I was, I was just about to eat. Ah. Follow the com. Always just follow the com. We're gonna come up from behind and poke him in the bum. Dark Ray is really funny. Mm, yeah, we'll have to go through and try that. Did you boost some festive gobbles up for the reward track? Yeah, we have all of them up now. Ah! Damn it. <laughs> they repaired us out. All right. We've got a bit of a journey, team. Back we go. We're going back this way. Oh, good. The commander's also following us as well. No, they're up. They're up on the inside. It's all right. No, we're still on the wrong side of this. Mounts, mounts, mounts. Hammer combo is five, two, two. Okay. So what's that look like? Yes, that's literally all we're doing. Five, two, two. I love it. We're here for it. Oh, if Hammer 5 hits, it resets to... Ah, okay. Recharge Coalescence of Ruin if you strike an enemy. So should it be like 2, 5, 2? Or should it be 5, then while it's casting? Because it's got a bit of a cast and animation time to it. 2, 2. 2, 5, 2. Yeah, that's what I thought it should be. Sanity is but a mirage. Time is close, but if you spam it, it works. Mm. So if we did, like, especially for our quickness, but if we did... Mm, yeah, we just had to be fairly quick on it. That's right, we got it. We'll, we'll build more things. Give us participation, though. Like, honestly, like, we basically started Gift of Battle today, and it's getting very close to done as well, which is pretty sweet. And... Let's see, Ferris, Ferris, we're going back here, okay. I'll swap that over. There we go. Skills in the right order now. Oh, we got like a full squad, basically. Some subgroups would be pretty lit, though. It reminded me of all the farms you have ahead of you to unlock legendary gear on your ult. Get in while the going is good, Nitro. Yeah, we are on our second account now. Well, actually, no, technically our third account. But yeah, we are going through and doing the farm. We're doing the thing. Oh, what's your favorite color? Favorite color is blue, fiery. Oh, no gathering tools. Oh. Permanent gathering tools are on another character. 
Mm, logging axe. I need. Honestly, I'm. I'm just not gonna. Not gonna fix it. Just it is what it is. Which character would they be on? It's just because like last time, I'm like, I'll jump in Worldverse World for a bit. I won't need my permanent gathering tools. <laughs> I won't swap them. Yeah, I, I did the thing. I did the thing I always do. I understand conceptually to always put them back in my shared inventory slot, but I always forget. <laughs> Maybe Necro? I suspect probably Ellie, but also because I'm in EBG now, I don't want to get met by a Q, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill here for the time being. I don't really need to gather these, it doesn't really hurt me that much. Yeah, I was on Ellie a lot then, so I suspect that's probably where they are. I could probably actually uh the item searcher on Blishard's a bit weird sometimes. Yeah, get that Blishard going. I do have it, let's see. They were the vermilion ones if I remember correctly. Let's check. Verm. That's not helpful. Um, mining. That's, that's really not helpful. Oh, that's a special one for tools. Ah, nice. Now yeah, let's yeet those. More items. Tool? Search three characters minimum. Extra module thing. Ah, yeah, we'll go through and see if we can figure that out. That's good. Gives a bit of time. Uh, module repo. Anyone remember what it's called? Cast tracker. Gathering tools module. That sounds very handy. Gathering tools. Search for unlimited gathering tools in your bank shared inventory slots. There we go. In you go. Ah, uh, good. We're actually going and doing things now. That's excellent. I was getting a bit tired of just sitting at that one spot gathering tools enable module um so alt c let's see if that's getting our api data do i have to add my api data in oh there we go no i'm just trying to mix actually on my there they're actually on my other character, actually. Hmm. Any you ready enough for practice to CM soon? Yes, I will very much come along for those. Do let us know when you're ready to go through and do that, and I will join you, because that sounds exceptional. We do need that for ad infinitum. Ad infinitum, whatever it is called, we need it. Oh, thank you, Jess. I'll trade you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Jess has bought us the wonderful top tier dessert. That is microwaved Audi apple rounds with ice cream. It is the most apple pie thing you will ever eat. It is more apple pie than apple pie itself. But thank you so much. That's good. We're actually going to capture something now. That's good. We're here for it. Jess is the MVP. 110% is the MVP. I do need to have some more noms there. In we go. I did. I was not even looking as we were going. I could have just been walking to an enemy Zerg. I would not have been able to tell you. So 100% go to Audi. Get their apple rounds from their pastry section. Microwave them. Vanilla ice cream. Journey to microwave for like 30 seconds. Mm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna back away here. Ah. <laughs> oh, down we go. I assume we might be getting some tags there. I'm not too sure. Oh, the comms just like beeline through there. Yeah, I know we were going to use hammer there, but I suspected that was going to be a bit of a a bit of a clown fiesta. Ah, glint heal. Yes, glint heal. Oh no. Hmm. 
We are in like legitimately like full berserker gear as well. Hmm. Shoot me an invite, Mega. That sounds exceptional. Hammerfall's projectile bot. Good to know. Beautiful. That inventory is like completely um, wrecked though. Testimonies. Probably testimonies now, I think. And Darkfield. Excellent. Good to know. Beautiful. So I might hop onto... <laughs> Don't forget tools. I love it. Um, let's actually go to this character. And then, yeah, we will actually put our gathering tools where they're meant to be. Dante, what's up, mate? How you going? Thank you for popping in. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Gathering tools. A work for you. I appreciate that, Dante. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a lapis die? Maybe. I'll check. Hmm. We'll take a look in a moment. Probably yes, and if I don't, they'll be like so cheap that it won't really matter. Um, exclusive dies, fun trading posts. I don't have lapis. Yeah, now we have lapis. We have both of those now. Excellent. Um, I'll go DPS. I'll just go straight DPS tonight. That is um, Viper. What about Prismatic Die? On oh, Glossy Black. I think that one. I think I should have Glossy Black. I'll take a look. I think that's mostly correct. Um, I don't. So many cool dies that I don't have. If anyone wants to join us for fractals, feel free to join up on us now, or we will just hit up the LFG. Oof. Oh well. I like glossy black. Gold is but an artificial construct. Do we have the prismatic one? What even is? <gasps> no, 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 we don't have that one, Afar. I'm not insta-buying that one. I'll insta buy a glossy black. Oh, you want it? You can do CDPS? Hell yeah. We're going to go through and do CMs um, as well, Xanus. But 100%, you can join up on us here. As why a wise man once said, thinking it's enemy progression <laughs> to a point, yes. But even that one, my lizard brain is screeching out to me. <laughs> Don't do it. Anguish die. How much is anguish? Oh, hang on. Ooh, juicy. It's, it's just purple. Why is it so expensive? Ah, Vrox is on your friends list. Perfect. Let me go through. There we go. We got you there. Excellent. Thanks for letting me know what your account name is. Makes it much easier for me to find people. so expensive it's your favorite in the color royalty i love it <laughs> oh thank you far i'm looking forward to seeing it
Yeah, we can do Rex as well. And that'd be pretty hot. Ice cream's incredible. Yeah, Spectral Grasp is fine. Oh, hang on. Wrong traits. Wrong traits. Beep, boop, boop. Boop, boop. There we go. <laughs> Build's correct now. And Carpus Royal then, since you have Ghastly Haunter and Gengar tattoo. Damn, those sound like some awesome tattoos. Love it. There we go. Build is set up. Excellent, we got this. Let's go blast. I can't control what happens if you don't. I said leave. I want you. And just get our dodge there. Oh, we swapped off pistol too soon. Very sad. Do we have the DPS to phase? Not quite sure. And laser, usually see people do silent surf first. I suspect we're not doing silent surf today. And Davtalos, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Oh, nice. Boss just phased anyway. So we'll probably have to deal with the middle water phase, which is a bit sad, but meh. Yeah, that ticking damage, though, we love it. And we're pumping on Scourge. That's good. But Scourge is just, it's my, it's my comfort DPS class. It's like the class that I can go through and do without having to think at all. Like, you know that good feeling when you get in the flow state and not having to actively think about your actions and you're just performing them? That's me on Scourge. And doubly so in fractals as well. And yeah, pistol two is really long cast time. Yeah, it really does. You do have to get used to that. going to wait there on pistol just for a smidge more. There we go. And big CC. Oh, damn. Hey, Panther, what's up, mate? How are you going? It's good to see you. Might be pretty hyped to do some Harbinger, like Celestial Harbinger in World vs. World as well. Glad to hear that you're going well, um, Panther. Music to my ears. I'll go through and grab this, actually. I got you, fam. There we go. Many element spell. <laughs> yeah, that's savage. I assume there's some context behind that. <laughs> we finally met us all day. <laughs> We're going to have to pump pretty hard to make sure we don't deal with the second water phase. We'll see what we can achieve. And break the bar. I think we're definitely dealing with the second water phase. We might be able to phase through it. Mm. Yeah, I think we actually can. Yeah, we totally can. Good job. That's excellent. Perfect. There we go. If you want context and check on PD's Discord, nice. We'll go check that out later. 
just get easy and that was good you deserve this or oh, your convergence has lately been amazing and you haven't done one today though ah nice but how have your convergence been scarf laser no. tend to make one fail <laughs> I do have to go through and get Nightmare Aspect in this account. We will like dedicate an evening to it one stream just to go through and blast that title. No one can count on it's nowhere near as bad to get now as, as it was when the Fractal first launched. So there is that. Yeah, the amount of RP in this section is like pretty unhinged. We're just going to work our way over here. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let's get you up. Let's get you up. There we go. Everyone's up. No health this is easy pal. Yeah, I can see that one. I'm being a bit of a pain. That right there is a reason why Scourge is just so unfathomably good. The Scourge DPS is still really tanky with the barrier output. Yeah, it really is. Then honestly, you can take Parasitic Contagion for not even like that much of a DPS loss. And it's still like really, really good. I'm just gonna pop that there. Uh, watch out for the fears. How do we... We did not touch that. I think someone else may have touched it. Then we got caught in the crossfire. Oop. Hmm. Let's go get the... There we go. Salvaged. DPS right, support left. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a that's a mechanic I wasn't expecting to deal with. Hmm. That was odd. Hmm. Do I even have enough to revive? I'm to revive orbs now. Nah, we don't have enough. That was very weird. Yeah, I have no idea what actually caused that. Yeah, that was weird. If you face the 33, then CC it bugs. Yeah. Bit of a nice bug there, but we got it. And Emperor Vinley, thank you for the follow, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, CC during Sorrow's bugs. So yeah, that was a fun little bug. Damn, excellent pumping that DPS. We love to see it. And get ready to break. A Guild Wars 2 on PlayStation is impossible. Um, Anton, no, no, unfortunately it is not. Hey man, what's up? Thanks for popping into YouTube. How has your day been, mate? Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, we don't have to move out. We're not spreading here. Um, we're just going to go pop a bit of CC on that one. Retarget the boss. Now we've got to watch out for the fears. The boss can move. Oh, how did we? No. I'm getting pipped by those a lot lately. That's big CC there. There we go. And yeah, I don't think Guild Wars 2 will ever be on PlayStation. And you can play Guild Wars 2 with a controller. I've seen people set up like keybinds for it to work. Never really like given much thought to it myself. Let's deal with this sorrow over here. There we go. Gotta watch out for those fears. There we are, oh, we're moving good. Yeah, you can play Guild Wars 2 on the Steam Deck. I've seen that done before. I need to actually get a power class geared up for fractals as well. There we go, nice. So get out of here. Go. And beautiful, we are just gonna be right back while we get ready for the next one. Welcome back everyone. We've covered every other Revenant spec, so now it is time to cover what is undoubtedly the most fun of all of them, Power Vindicator whose entire purpose is to crush your enemies beneath your muscly calves. Woo! Superhero landing! Yeah, that's really hard on your knees. Power Vindicator is the single best DPS spec that Revenant has access to, and we've been building to this one for a while now. Vindicator is simple to play, has outstanding damage, lets you nuke your enemies from orbit with the single... And we are back. Uh, for some reason, Max lives on cooldown swap. Oh, that's a bit weird. Oh, you can play any game of cloud game and device as long as you have good internet. I do really enjoy doing that, like on our home network as well. I'll use my phone with a like clamshell controller, like a USB-C controller, and I will be able to remote into my main gaming PC here and play like other games on my phone. Really fun. I did a lot with Vampire Survivors and Persona 3. Tried to do it with Civ 6, but the controller keybinds for Civ 6 just weren't really hitting. And they're still going like pretty good for Scourge damage here, honestly. A scourge does not ramp particularly quick. Oh, we got the actual Mesma ports. I love it. Got some DMs on Discord. Brilliant, Fiery. Once we're done with Fractals, then we'll go through and actually set up uh, what I presume is the new look. Thank you for that. Do I have a makeover kit? I will have one. If not, I can easily get one. That's not a problem. Like, I should have one because I haven't used one for ages. Dodge that. And we start your journey this time possible for you to get a standard armor and weapon. Uh, you have three sets of armor and dual sword. You're happy with this progression. That's excellent here, man. Hell yeah. I join effort again. Thank you, Fire and Dante. I really appreciate that. It's hard to gamble what skins you have unlocked, but I think you can buy most of them from TP. If you have not, that's excellent. I'm actually going to be sort of hard stuck with transmutation charges as well for a little bit. Unless I start using some of my skirmish chests for transmutation charges, which is a bit of a bad idea. But we'll duck into a bit more world versus world as well afterwards. We're having a good time there. Might even see if we could get Sully Harbinger geared up. You'll need five. How many are we rocking? Chances are it's probably not five. It is two. 
Eh, like I can get those fairly quickly, that's not really a problem. Now we'll take this. Oof! That one hurt. There we go. Yeah, we've still got a couple more days of fractal pages. Oh, eight astral claim pieces. Ah, oh, okay, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I do have a bit of astral claim. That's good, I completely forgot you could get them from the vault. Thanks to YouTube, it made our progress easy when making tutorial videos. Thank you so much here, man. I appreciate that. Do that. What's up, mate? How you going? Hope you are having an exceptional day. Now, what do you have in your inventory there, great dude? <laughs> Oh, why you just search for your friend in his inventory? Ah, oh, I got you now. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I love that. Very nice. <laughs> I can see how that would be confusing. Here we go. Bounce up. We're up here now. It's good. We're at the spot. We don't have to do anything. Now, do I have a makeover kit? Check gear was to efficiency. Oop, I was in the wrong spot. Sorry, team. I want more time for me to search. Count. Yeah, there we go. There's one in our bank. Here we go. Oh no, you can do tier 3 fractals as well. Personal access 99 still progressing. Excellent hit man, that's brilliant. Yeah, once you get to tier 4s, your life is truly complete. Deal with this one. Bounce. Deal with the anomaly. Blink back over. Good projectile defense. Give ourselves some barrier. Make sure we. Oh. Yeah, make sure we try and get into that one. This one, you kind of almost want parasitic contagion. How many tier 3 fractals? You're very excited for that. Ah, uh, nice. Bear in mind, like, tier 3 fractals, I actually do find that if new players are harder than tier 4s, because people don't usually run, like, really good um, group compositions yet, so there may be a bit of a step up in difficulty, but I know you can handle it here, man. Oh, nice, I didn't um, die to that. That's exciting. Bounce up. over here we don't have our singularity so we're gonna be relying pretty hard on mega's exceptional heals here and maggie didn't realize you're on eu will join fractals i'm oh, sorry maggie welcome in how are you going hope you're having a wonderful day we just get up in the air there we go yeah you can actually make the flux bomb disappear in this fractal by jumping into the air just before it disappears One's done. Perfect. All these are done now. 
and dodge. Try and just avoid as many AoEs as we can. They will all start to hurt a lot. See, so watch this. Just it fills, jump in the air, and it disappears. It's a very handy little trick on this fractal. Oh. Oh. Team, we need to always get in that. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're up. Oh, I was going to let you go to GG. Hang on. Um, salvageable, actually. Um, I might be able to yeah, deal with this one. Mega. Yeah, actually, if we both just take a hot minute to deal with this. There we go. We're actually up. I was literally about to GG. Mm, still doable. Uh, oh, there's so many little eyes. Oh, go away. Oh, we're, we're going to the thing. Whee! There we go. And gold coin, why do people stay, still play Condis for Fractal? Because they don't have a power bill geared up for it. There we go, we're good. Got knocked out right for the bubble like one step. I know, I saw you like super close for that. That was unfortunate. That's right, we got there in the end. It's just a little bit spicy. Yeah, I can just run Signet of Spite. Should probably take Epi. Also can't be bothered. Ooh, Worm Slayer somehow. We love it. Means we get to do like Giga Burst with Signet of Spite though, so that's pretty fun. That's why I know. We'll just chalk it up to you throwing us a bit of a test there. I'm <laughs> excellent. and hopefully we passed. Yeah, blink in. There we go. Oh, I do love this fractal. Turn around. Stop the consequences of your action. I harness the chaos of interminable space time. Big CC. Oh, we're doomed to explode. Very sad. That's right. We will deal with that. Once we get our stuff up, there we go, we're fine. Watch backwards. Jump up in the air. Blink to the boss. Dodge out of those, a few sketchy AoEs, turn my character around, don't stand on a disappearing platform. So many things happening all at once. We're just going to completely ignore that. Thank you, stability. Oh, I think someone's going to get a bit murked there. Can we revive? Maybe. Ooh, maybe not. Do this one. Are you insane? This system is inherently unstable. And let's deal with this. 
There we go. Excellent. Good burst there. We love it. Oh. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Hang on. We're vulnerable somehow. Oof. Okay, um, we're really going to need, uh, we might be able to make this work. We just need to not be hit by anything. If we're hit by anything, we are effed. That's alright, I think this is still totally workable though. Ooh, we're getting out of that. Blink over here. Jump. Turn around. Uh, do we GG? We might. Oh, there we go. Hey, Osmo, what's up, mate? How are you going? Thank you for popping in. Hope you're having an exceptional day. We're going through, blasting through some fractal challenge modes. Some of them being a little bit spicier than we otherwise would like. But how are you going? Oh, you just, I just beat you to it, I think, there, Annie. <laughs> Thank you so much. But how are you going? Everyone, make sure you go check them out. You'll not be disappointed. That was a very unfortunate wipe there. Yes, we've got to make sure we don't, don't avoid the... Yeah, never honestly avoid the explodey circles. Because even though you do have the mistlock singularity to avoid one, you don't want to waste your singularity on the very first one, because you might need it for the next one. But how are you going today, Osmo? Oh, you misspelled that. Ah, oh, okay, I gotcha. going good just chilling the copy right now that sounds exceptional mate yeah we're going through doing some world versus world before we're getting thoroughly um ruffle stomps but we had a good time it's osmo streams osmo streams are absolutely exceptional places to hang out so make sure everyone goes and hangs out in their stream whenever they happen to be live contemplating taking parasitic contagion just in case we need to do something sketchy a bit later and blink oh perfect that's beautiful walk through the boss try not to interrupt pistol 2 I will gear up another character for Fractals at some point. Necro is just like way too good. Even honestly, just me actually getting like Power Reaper set up would be pretty good. And we're doomed to explode. Rip. Both power hollow. Ooh, I would not mind a bit of power hollow actually. Just need to get a whole bunch of ascended medium gear. Oh, we're doomed to explode. I do not want to deal with mechanics. There we go. Turn around. Can we jump over this? Hey, we can. That's fun. Blink over here so we don't die. He's level that first. I do. Yeah, I need to finish leveling it. We can probably make some more progress towards that later. We do have a whole bunch more tomes now, which is pretty sweet. And bounce up in the air. There we go. You can make Flux Bomb disappear. I recommend you do it. Once you hit this point with everyone alive, it's mostly free. 
Let's ignore all the mechanics happening at the same time. PD, what's up, mate? How are you going, my friend? So good to see you. Thank you for popping in. We're just going through and blasting some fractal CMs on EU after doing a bit of world versus world. It was a pretty damn good time. But how are you going, PD? Thank you for popping in. Everyone, make sure you check out the incredible Perfect D on Twitch. And here, man, you're unlocking power DPS, uh, quickness, power DPS, the main character, as in a herald. Very nice. I love it. And yes, we did. It was probably a solo, like, two hours of World versus World earlier. Oh, babe. She's having a nightmare. She does that. She does big, like, little whimpers when she has a nightmare. Growling in your dream as well, sweetie. She's been a very good girl today. I spilled not insignificant amount of water on myself. She's really not having a good dream. She's actually like growling in it. She's hearing little like. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do I? I bring spectral grass for the CC. She attacking the kelp? Oh, yeah. she spent like so long today just rolling around in the seaweed. They're like, yep, she's having a bath after. She's not the biggest fan of baths. She'll do them, but she's not particularly happy about it. Oh, we got Toxic Trail. Damn, that one's going to suck. Decanons, what's your favorite class? Favorite class is Revenant. Necro being probably my second favorite class overall. Oh, GG. Cool beans. I might even just be able to bring Signet of Spite here. There's going to be enough mobs that die. I'm not going to really need much life force generation. Oh, baby. See if we can break that bar with a bit of a fear. And there we go, we can break it now. I <laughs> just ran there just purely to put my plague lands there directly under the boss. I was going to use special action key, but it doesn't actually work here. Beautiful break that bar. The boss will now basically instantly die. There we go. Boss done. Grab some of those. Some of those. No. Yeah, if we all sort of head back around here, these mobs will all line of sight here. And we are good. Oh good, I'm still actually rocking um, a little bit of an experience bonus, so that is good. Do need to go and actually use a candy corn gobbler for, like Need to pop in a few more gold on that. Now I'm not going to swap off Scepter here because the projectile hating bubble is up. But I am going to start pulling these in now. I've got blood in the water done. That's great. All my ornate rusted keys are basically from this fractal. And 
bounce. And dodge that. Try not to trigger all these. If we can solo capture the center one, that would be pretty hype. Usually a mob like pops up beforehand though. Bounce. Oh, there we go. Oh good, we just have to sort of sit here and chill until we eventually rack up enough recovery points to revive. I'll be there in a moment, Mega. Um, this might just take a minute. We're getting there. It might actually be quicker for you to come down and revive me, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to GG that. <laughs> There we go. And beautiful, we now have our gathering tools in the correct spot. And we'll deal with the Elite Nightmare Hypnos there. Beautiful. That is all done now. How are we sitting in terms of spirit shards now? 215? Plenty. And I think because there's so many mobs dying, I still don't actually need Signa of Undeath here. We're still actually out of combat. Nice. Mm, yeah, Spectral Grasp is fine. move casually out of those there we go that one's taken care of sidestep that celestial ellie still a thing for fractals no i'm shadow i wouldn't think so celestial bills and fractals really have fallen off a lot in particular since celestial firebrand got a bit bopped One is now done. And break that bar. Oof, we had to use our miss lock there. This one we will definitely swap back to Sign of Undeath though. Purely helps with the extra life force generation. Dodge that one. Sidestep. Mm -hmm. 
And beautiful. We're about to phase. Outstanding. How dare you defile my birth chamber. And bounce. And yeah, grab all the blue orbs that we can. Dodge over here. Go to go and grab. Oh, more blue orbs. Yes. Excellent. There we go. Oh, excellent CC. We just didn't see the first AoE. That is good. Just going to eat that one. And double dodge through this. to lay over the other side of the room now. Bounce. There we go. Oh, if we can grab some of these. Oh, nice. Full heal blue orbs. We love it. Perfect. Big CC. That is good. Those were some signets of humility right there. Steens for that as well, which is nice. None of those were the dailies, unfortunately. Which is a crying shame. Molten boss, perfect. Now, do I actually need anything for these? Uh, let's see. Underground, Aether Blade. Totally recommended. I'll take a look. Are you playing ADPS or DPS? Just DPS Inferno. The one where I really get to switch my brain off. What do we got for add up an item? Uh, so I need to do that. There's mallet. Mm, so if we have underground. Oh, that's just challenge. Oh, 51. No. Oh, yeah, we can do that. We found the prisoners. They're forcing them to mine. Hey, Mr. Single, um, Cockman, welcome in. Um, what's a good way to start with fractal CMs? Starting with Fractal CMs, Let's go. you can either keep an eye on the LFG around maybe like reset time, see if there's any groups that don't have any kill proof requirements. Like I definitely get experienced, I think, with the regular versions of them first, so you're at least familiar somewhat with the mechanics and structure of the Fractals. But also, even if you're able to go through and start your own groups from them as well, because quite often people will just wait looking at the LFG, waiting for a group to start up. But yeah, if you go through, get reasonably comfortable with the normos fractals and then just do like one at a time and go like 97 challenge mode progression 98 and then 99 and work your way out from there and look some guilds do them with yeah if you have people in your guild they can do it with as well if you have some friends it's a fantastic shout but because quite often what i've done historically is i've just gone through and mostly like pug things myself without like a dedicated group of people typically to do things. More often than not, I will go through and just like watch a guide on them, get roughly comfortable with things, and then dive in from there. Oh, do we just run? Yeah, well, well we've mostly just run already. And by that, I mean we are quite a ways down. If you know a particular streamer who runs them as well, yes, if you do happen to know a particular streamer, I'm always more than happy to help. Mm -hmm. There we go. We managed to somehow survive that. That's pretty good. 
Oh damn, that protector's like all the way back there. Okay, this part's gonna be giga scuffed. Where's the damn protector actually? Hang on, it'll be somewhere over here. No, I'm just gonna start hitting things in. Hey, how do you return? What's up, pumpkin? Hi, baby. Hi. How you doing? Oh, good. Have some of that water after you drank like half the ocean today. It's just putting a training group on LFG and if you get peeps, just know the mechanics. Yeah, if you go through know the mechanics, set up a training group, you'll be in a pretty good spot. Now let's go through and just get... There we go. We got you. We got you, fam. Oh, that immobe though. Oof. Let's go through and maybe just try and clear some of these just a little bit so it's not as chaotic. There we go. Okay, now we can probably focus on this one. Ooh, we're about to burn through our singularity pretty damn quick. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. The good thing is, once you get, like, comfortable with fractal CMs, going down and doing the tier fours, especially if you've already done the challenge modes with the same group, everything just goes through and melts. It's absolutely unhinged. Depending on what class you're playing as well, if you can pick up something like Scourge or Virtuoso in particular, they will be fantastic ones to really make your experience in challenge modes a lot easier. And thank you, Mr. Single, for the follow as well. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Scourge in particular is one of those classes that the more of them you add, the easier it gets. Doing um, CMs after normal tier four, Oh, after doing CM's normal tier 4 feels really easy. Oh, it does, yeah. It's night and day different. Okay, so we need the protector here. Grab that. Oh, I love Plague Lands on groups and mobs like that. CM Fractals makes you want to fall asleep. It's so hard to do tier 4s after, let alone Rex. Or oh, Rex in particular, they just completely melt. Normally, I wouldn't bother doing Rex, but because I do need the Fractal pages for Ad Infinitum on this account, we will be doing them. But most of the time, I'll just do like CMs and tier 4s. Usually, I won't do Rex because the reward's a bit diminished after that, but. I definitely recommend new players in particular spend some time doing the Rex because the Fractal pages, particularly if you're going for the Legendary Fractal Backpack or any of the Fractal titles, you're going to need them. And they're like the big time gate for anything related to Fractals. Try not to stand in too many AoEs. There we go. Daily T4s are still exceptionally rewarding. The Spram Fractal Mitrin. <laughs> Scourge pumps, and it's incredibly easy and durable to play as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On your bed, on your bed, you little goblin.
this we've made some great progress in world versus world today i'll see what else is popping off in there afterwards as well that'll be pretty sweet we've started with our oh, good our stream has actually been stable now that i've said that watch it becomes drastically unstable need people to spam but though yeah true yeah if you want to go through and spam like on the mitre and fractal all the time Loving the mass invisibilities, that's fantastic. There's no hiding behind those masks. I recognize you. You betrayers. Come to your senses. Help us stop the slaughter. Help us stop you. At least regular tier fours, even honestly CMs, they're quite pug friendly, I find. They're probably pushing the words of your idea of Carpet Tunnel from playing Elementals come over to Scourge Gang. You can play it with just Shindos and Two Fingers. Like, it's not that far off, but Scourge is honestly like a fairly high APM class. It's just that it's, I find it really simple to play and intuitive to learn. It's basically just a few little rules for the priority of skills, and then you're good to go. And then you sort of just piece them all together. That was good. A very strategic mutant sneeze there. I'm quite proud of that one. Thank you. Oh yeah, you played tier four some years and also different classes set up. I felt gatekept by the KP requirements for CMs. Yeah, honestly, like any time you're wanting to deal with KP requirements, you kind of just have to go and set your own group to start building up that stockpile of KP and then you're good to go. But yeah, if you've done tier fours for a while, yeah, you can move to CMs without any issue. Especially with the level of power creep of the game, I definitely recommend picking up something like Virtuoso or Scourge for DPS. But lots of different options for DPS work for CMs. Those two I find are just probably the most user friendly, I would say. Oh, your first clear of nightmares on CM, didn't know it was CM, was a pug route too. Very nice, that is awesome. I find Nightmare in particular, when you go back and do the normal mode of that after CM, it just feels like trivially slow. What about support classes? Like, a Lax Scourge is a really good one. Heal Chrono is fantastic. Heal Firebrand's always been fantastic in Fractals as well. A Lax Renegade's a really good option. Even like a Lax Mechanist is pretty good as well. Yeah, I'll just take this port. I can't be bothered actually doing the jumps. You got this team. Carry me to victory. Oh, hang on. There we go. My oh, first experience with fractals and me dragging through all CMs. Yeah, you did very well, Exodus, to keep coming back after that. Getting thrown off the deep end to CMs can be a bit spicy. It was a slaughter. <laughs> oh, especially, I remember 98 CM. Oh, the 98 CM PGSD. Yeah, that one in particular. Once you get used to that and you know all the, like, the animations and safe spots to stand, it's honestly pretty chill. But until then, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a tricky sausage. 98 CM in particular, even in groups that I regularly do like all the CMs with, 98 can still be a bit of a sticking point at times. Let's see, what else do we need to go through and kill? There we go. We grew them up a bit. There we go. We're back in business now. is the boss. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
we got no pain, no gain. I'm just going to be like camping Scepter the entire time, aren't I? I might as well. Okay, this mob is fixated on me. There we go. We're just going to keep this off the group. Yeah, no pain, no gain just makes fractals like a little bit painful. Again, that's another reason why bringing something like Scourge that has Boon Rip just baked into its kit for free, or even like Power Boon Chronomancer is really good for it as well. But yeah, having something that has a bit of Boon Rip just baked in is going to make just your daily fractal pugging experience so much cleaner. Remember to use your special action key here to jump up into the air. It's going to save your life. A thief's good in fractals? Yeah, thief is really good in fractals as well. You can do a lot of skips with thief as well. Spectre's fantastic. It's a great power DPS build as well on Daredevil. But thief's in a good spot in fractals. Blink up, there we go. Dead of yes, Deadeye, not so much. Yeah, Deadeye is a bit of a weird one in fractals. Let's go and rip some boons. There we go. So we've done two of the tier fours. Jump up in the air, there we go. Bounce. Yeah, when you see any of those AoEs, use your special action key to jump in the air. In that, you can also jump up in the air for. And dodge that, perfect. Another tier four fractal down. And chaos. We don't need any actual ooh, underground. Do I need anything for underground? I think I might actually. Yeah, if we could do a challenge mode for it, that actually give us some progress towards ad infinitum. So let's see if that's a thing. Yeah, challenge mode. Yes. Hundred percent. Thank you, team. There, your challenge mode is active. Perfect. Is it over? And this one isn't no pain, no gain. Good. We just swapped over to Parasitic Contagion there purely because can we um, oh, trying to hit that one over there beautiful there we go yeah we popped on Parasitic Contagion purely because it allowed us to stand on that without having to really worry about dying so that was very handy there but now we can actually swap that back to Master of Corruptions Dodge that. Oh, 
Oh, we got last laugh as well. Everyone should be out of combat now. Perfect. Let's grab that on your way back. Run, 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 run. I might actually take Spectral Walk just for a bit of extra swiftness, just to make sure. Beautiful take. Oh no, we actually can't take that. That's unfortunate. Nice, there we go. Now we're definitely going to want to eat some more food. I'm probably okay not to eat more fractal potions. Like, I think that's fine. It will be nice to have, but it's also not required. And beautiful. The door will blow up now. Horik, unleash the cannons. Aye, aye, Beautiful, that is taken care of. We should probably have some mass invisibilities. Alando, welcome in. You missed a sale. Do you know the next one is the complete edition? $100 a bit too much. Unable to tell you when the next one is. Sorry to hear that you missed the last sale. But yes, don't worry. They will pop back up at some point. Not sure when, but they will come back. They always do. Yeah, maybe around summer. So maybe around like sort of August or so for the anniversary. That's usually when they may pop up. These sales come really often. Yeah, they do come relatively often. Avoid any of those AoEs. Oh, it's even for downstate as well. Oof. Last would probably be August for anniversary. Yeah, I suspect it probably would be. Hey, Garth, what's up, mate? How are you? Thanks for popping in. Last for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Mm-hmm. How much is it on sale? I'm not sure how much it goes for when it's on sale. But yeah, it is just like a significant percentage off. 